Alright boys, what is up? Kabuki here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your BP straight away as soon as possible. If you're planning on saving for Alpha, make sure you go watch my save for Alpha video on why you, as a free to play you shouldn't summon right now and save all your black cards for her. She's the first premium character, go check that video out. But we're here to increase our BP right now. I am sitting on a 1300 Lucilia, Lucia sorry, I keep calling her Lucilia, I don't know why. but. I did get the pay to win sword for free. If you pay one dollar, you get this sword and the raincoat. But that doesn't matter because you can use easily just use a four star weapon and you'll be okay, right? But here, these cards right here, you get for completely free by farming uh, C -C 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 Cecilia's mission. I think that's her name, man. Let me see. If I, if I go to battle and then go to challenges, you want to go through and do these challenges on her and. As you can see, the rewards are these these five star cards that do do a lot. This this increases. I I, I think this is Ike, right? Increases all damage increases by two percent, and elemental damage increased by four percent. And if you get like four of his cards, but they only give you two, but they give you two good sets. Um, I did get like a basic attack set, and for man, these names, Lucia, Lucy. Oh my God, bro, these names, man. I hate these names, man. I, I literally hate these names so much. They couldn't make it easy. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, we get to use her? I think that's Dawn Lucia, right? They're so awkward. These names are so awkward, man. <laughs> like, I want to say Lucilia, but like, yeah, by doing these missions, they're pretty easy. They're just like uh, tutorial missions, right? If you, if you just dodge and just attack him, I think he just, he just dies. I'm pretty sure. Yep, look at this. Oh my god, she's so cool, bro. I really wanted her on my account. I I'm just waiting for a dodge. Alright, boys, so quickly do that mission. I skipped ahead because uh, this is like increased BP. <laughs> increased BP video. But here we go. I wish I had this character, man. Unlucky I didn't summon her. But we get these cards and the shards. And these shards will help you get an A rank Lucia which is awesome and then of course we got the Ike support card and then you can put that on your main character and more missions should unlock after that like just go through and get the rewards right and this should help you out and then another thing is if you go to missions you get these rewards here on story and they give you more cards so like Erwin is really good because it's HP crit for the first I think the first row is HP crit all the time but he increases basic attack damage by 10% and you can stack this uh, with another one I think let me see there's another character that does the same thing is this Erwin? it's better not. okay so Erwin so I got two Erwins I think I'm just gonna stack Erwins and get my basic attack up but this helps you and then you can also overclock these cards and overclock material you can just press the plus button and find out where to farm them go to advance and just farm mission 2 you should be able to overclock your weapons and swords with this and this is the mission I've been farming like everything else I don't see the point right now maybe there's a, a better thing to farm but I think like overclock materials right now increase your BP and of course your level as well to increase your level you gotta increase your rank and my rank is currently 28 um, you get that through XP and daily missions if you're doing the daily missions try to get to level 35 as soon as possible but yeah most of that is it's pretty basic and then of course you can go to coaching i think this increases it as well the more you have i feel like these costumes do give you uh stats I, i'm not too sure if they do actually i might be just talking out of my butt right there but then if you go to details not details sorry uh if you go to upgrades hello oh sorry train i'm so i'm sorry boys <laughs> All right, so we got upgrades. I think we hit level 28 so I could just upgrade her real quick to level 28 and that should increase her BP uh, Not by a lot then you can go to promote also rank up uh, You should do this every time you get it evolve um, This should be easy to get to to get it to S is no problem, but to get it to triple S obviously you need a ton of shards, but you're gonna be summoning her a lot. So Lucia, the basic one, the B rank one, you're gonna get her a lot from the summons. I've pulled like two so far, right? And what you wanna do is increase her evolve. And once she gets to max evolve, I need six more. 
and then she'll go up to S rank and while going up to S rank they're gonna get a ton more stats and that's gonna increase your BP some more and then of course skills just go through level these up it don't matter if, if she's your main DPS man just do it for her like right now I'm just focusing on her <clears throat> on her and I'm just going through and upgrading all the skills anytime I do get an upgrade I go here and I find the upgrade I need to upgrade real quick and then once you see that blue dot disappear you know you've upgraded everything you can and that should increase my BP. I went from 1300 to 1400 just like that. And right now the hardest difficulty mission is around 1300. So I'm 100 more BP than that. And that should help you out. Of course, weapons weapons can be upgraded as well. And of course, you can overclock them. Uh, Resonance, I don't know what this is about. I don't have any of this just yet. Oh, wait. Can I? I don't want to consume that bro don't do that i don't know what i'm doing here do not do what i just did don't consume it because that weapon you get for for the bow woman i'm not even too sure if you get it for the bow woman but that's what i'm doing <laughs> my voice i'm sorry boys uh also look right there forgot to upgrade a skill there i think i might put ike depending on yeah i'm gonna put ike here man i'm gonna switch this out and put ike main reason i'm putting ike is I do enjoy all damage increase instead of like whatever that is and go to enhance they give you enough material just select all and enhance you should be good sorry about that <clears throat> overclock right there increase it to 30 of course just select it again enhance I'm actually wasting materials here oh no but it don't matter I'm not going to overclock again. So, upgrade here. Enhance, and then select all. Really? Do I do this? I mean, it's four stars. I don't really care about four stars, man. I feel like five stars, you get enough five stars, and you can pop five stars or above. So, uh, there's no point, like, wasting, saving up four stars right and leveling them up when you can just get five stars and put them on your character and that should increase my bp some more by 68 like like right now i've got a game 200 what 260 sorry 160 bp and i just done some basic up <coughs> some basic upgrading like my weapons still can be upgraded more just do that <laughs> well i'm not gonna do that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you see the point of course you can also farm the materials for your weapon upgrades and stuff like that You need so if you go to battle and then go to resources uh, This is everything you need so uh, equipment up XP right here overclock material right here Construct XP you don't really need that um, Cogs right now. I would actually all skill drops as well. You can farm that um, I'll probably be doing overclock and Equipment ex uh, material, right? Complete that. Get enough. Look, you get a ton. You get some for cards. I, I think I just wasted a ton of cards upgrading that without just using the XP materials. But it don't matter. There were four stars, like I said. I much rather just upgrade the five and six star cards instead of focusing on the four star cards, which don't matter. And you're gonna get a ton of them over time. Cause in this game, you can actually farm the cards, which is nice. So go do these missions and. That's about it. Also, novice missions. I don't know if I went through that, but these give you XP. They don't really give you anything but XP. And they also, they give you some cards down here. But like I said, oh, this is a five star card, which is uh, very helpful. Attack reduce, um, attacks reduce the target's defense by 10% for five seconds, 12% cooldown. When taking damage, the physical defense of the attacked enemy reduced by 15%. Wow. Okay. So this is a good card that you could get. You could get a whole set of her as well. Wow. Mozart, okay, In this is I think the matrix is when you dodge and you get increased damage on the matrix So like doing that you get more cards here more equips here and yeah, th that's how you essentially just like Gain your BP and of course, it's pretty easy uh, Of course if you summon you're gonna have an easier time gaining BP because you can rank up the characters uh, But of course, yeah, yeah but there is a way to get charged for Lucilia. I think I went over it, but yeah, if you just go to the challenges, she gives you a ton. Like, like there's two shards here. I think she gives you enough to get her from B to A. So do these challenges, and they're super easy challenges, right? All you have to do is dodge. And then, I haven't done this. I think this is more rewards you can get. Look, there's another card you can get right here. 
all damage in the matrix I'm, i don't really want that but like going through and completing these challenges this is a level 30 challenge i can't do just yet but i think this is a six star yeah you get a six star card for doing all of this but of course this is late late game man you gotta get to level 50 but that's it hopefully this video was helpful and yeah peace